What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of Cooking with Cody. And today we got an awesome meal planned. <clears throat> We're gonna be making Thai beef salad. Now, if you don't know what that means or what that's gonna be, you might have seen the thumbnail or keep watching and we're gonna make it together. Let's go over some of the ingredients real quick. So what are we gonna need? We're gonna need beef, black pepper, soy sauce, shallots. If you don't know what shallots are, they're these little miniature onions that are, I don't know, they basically taste like a red onion to me, but there's probably a difference and I should do a taste test sometime, but not today. We're making, we're making a meal tonight. So uh, we got sugar, two limes, fish sauce, um, red pepper flakes, also back to fish sauce. If you don't like fish sauce, I'm one of those people who doesn't. I'm not gonna add it in there. It's still gonna be great, but if you don't mind it, throw it on in. It's a good addition for those that do like it. Green onions, fresh mint, cucumber, or any fresh vegetables that you want. I'm just gonna be doing cucumber today, but any type of fresh vegetable on the side is gonna be good, so. With that, let's begin. Um, we're gonna start by just marinating the meat and that's gonna be marinating for about 30 minutes. Um, and during that 30 minutes, we can cut up the vegetables and get everything else ready. So let's get the meat out of the package. All right, I'm just gonna open up this package here a little bit. And in my trusty bowl, I'm gonna pour I don't know, enough soy sauce to cover the meat. I don't really know how much, but you know, no measurements today, no measurements today. Maybe when it comes to the fish sauce, I'll let you know what some measurements are, but you know, it's really based on eye. So I'm gonna call that good. If I need some more, I'll throw some more in, but um, you can see I've got, what is this? How much, how many pounds of this? I've got 1.25 pounds of beef ribeye steak. You could use any type of steak. The last time I made this, I used flank steak, just the cheapest stuff I could possibly get. Um, today I wanted to step it up just a little bit, but you could use anything. Um, it's not, I mean, yeah, good steak is good steak, but you know, I'm on a budget here. It's quarantine, right? Pepper, soy sauce, and that's it. I'm gonna do a little bit more pepper. So um, let's have you take a little gander at this here real quick. So yeah, here we go. We've just got the soy sauce mix with the black pepper and that's just gonna be the marinade. And then again, the steak is just gonna be marinating in that for about 30 minutes. So um, yeah. All right, let's pop the steaks in there. And I'm just gonna, all with your hands. Probably enough soy sauce. I might've put a little bit too much, but you know what? It's, it's just a marinade, you know? Can't really do it wrong. Oh. So, uh, don't want that in there. The paper. So, let's get it nice and juicy in there. All right. Yeah, that'll be, that'll, that'll be good. Get it nice and mixed in and now we're just gonna, we're just gonna let that sit for about 30 minutes. So after the steak um, gets into that marinade, we're just gonna wait 30 minutes again, like I said, but we're just gonna start prepping everything else. So um, what we're gonna be prepping is we've got green onions to throw in there. We have shallots, we have some lime, um, sugar, and um, fish sauce if you're gonna be following along there and some fresh mint as well. And crushed red pepper flakes. Let me grab those here. Nope, that's not it. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, there it is. Get out your trusty knife, whatever one you wanna use. I like this one. It's a little big, but it's, you know, kind of like to be a little showy sometimes. It's kind of fun. So I'm just gonna get these shallots cut here. And let's see what the best way. Sometimes they're easy to peel, sometimes not. And in this case, 
they're not. So let's, um, maybe we'll, we'll just fast forward until all the uh, shallots are peeled. Cool? All right, so I peeled the shallots. Um, let me show you how much I got here. We got about, um, about that much, right? We're gonna be adding it to this bowl of steak. So, you know, five or so shallots. I know I have a little bit more here, but some of these are smaller pieces. So I got some big ones there, one, two, three, four, five, and a couple tiny ones. So we're sitting with about maybe, maybe six shallots, decent sized. Um, and we're just gonna do a rough cut and throw those into the mix. So I'll just do a little bit of chopping here. I think this is a good time to state. I am not a professional. I am not a chef. Oof, but those onions are hitting me. Holy buckets. Woo. Um, I'm not a professional and I'm not a chef, not trained, um, but I do like to cook and I think it's really fun and I watch a lot of videos and watch techniques. So maybe I'm doing stuff right, maybe I'm doing stuff wrong, but you know what? I am gonna get better and that's the idea behind this. So, um, you know what, I'm actually not super bummed out with how much um, onion is there. I might do like one more shallot, but like I said before, it was like maybe five shallots. I had six before around there and I think that's enough. I don't think I need all of these. So I'm just gonna do one more. Just grabbing a little bowl here to throw everything in until we're ready. Oh, see, professional wouldn't do that. Professional would be, professional about it. Here, I'm just messy, making a mess. So I'm just gonna not worry about these shallots for now and uh, I'll worry about them later. But, so what's next? We've got the shallots diced. We're still waiting for the, the beef to be marinated and uh, we're gonna want to add in some fresh lime juice. We're gonna do that at some point so we can cut some limes, but we also need some mint. So let me go out to my weak herb garden here at my place and uh, try to get some mint. Let me see if I can set this up somehow. Look at that. Let's grab some. I don't really know how much, just enough. It's raining here in California today. It's, you know, beautiful day. It, it seems sunny. The lighting's great though, look at that. I honestly want a lot of mint. Otherwise, you know, I mean, I can make a mojito with it afterwards if I want to, but I just want a lot, you know? I have a ton of it here, so I might as well. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. She doesn't even know it, but she made it in the video. First cameo. All right, let's head back inside. Got enough mint, I think. But, um, Dougie, hey, do you wanna say hi to the camera? Oh, Dougie, hey, what's up? Hi, what do you, what do you smell? This is Dougie. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to wash my hand now. All right, so, um, touch my face. Let me wash my hands again. Hi. Hands are getting dry. Okay. Don't touch the face. I'm not touching the face. And there we go. So we need some crushed red pepper, which I got that. I've got the meat marinating still. We have some thyme. Um, sugar, that'll go in later. Limes, that'll go in later. Green onion. Let's cut up a little bit of green onion and, and get it ready. How about that? Um, I don't know. I don't know how much. Maybe like, maybe like a couple of them. You know, we're not measuring today, remember? We're not measuring. So let's go ahead and chop this up here and uh, call it good. It's probably enough for now. We'll actually add some more green onion later, but we don't need any more now. And let's do some cucumber. Let's just cut up the cucumber. Um, that's gonna be eaten on the side. So 
what we're making again is we're making a Thai beef salad and um, it's made with rice, which we also need to get some rice. What the heck? I didn't even add that to the ingredients. Oh, that's like the main thing. Okay, we need to get some rice started. Let's, let's ignore what I was saying before. We need to get some rice started. Okay, again, I said I wasn't a professional, clearly. What a, what an amateur mistake. All right. So I'm just gonna do some normal um, jasmine rice. I'm just gonna do some jasmine rice. But uh, yeah, it's just, um, you know, I just got a rice cooker, easy way to do it. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a cup and a half of rice, I think. So we'll do a cup. That's a little bit less than a cup, but that's okay. Let's just not, yeah. Cup and a half, something like that. I gotta get some water in there. So, um, yeah, add your water in it. I do like equal parts, honestly. You know, I do equal parts and like a splash extra. So, maybe that'll be good. But while that's going, uh, we can also prep the cucumbers for the end of the meal. Just gonna clean up my station here real quick. I am also just going to grab another dish to throw the cucumbers in, but um, I'm gonna add that green onion. Here we go, let me, let me reframe, let me reframe, let me reframe. I'm gonna just add the green onion into the bowl of shallots and set it off to the side because we're gonna add them both at the same time. And honestly, I'm even gonna, um, add some of that mint too. But I'm honestly gonna, I'm gonna chop up this mint here a bit just to give it a little bit more fragrance and equal parts in the bites. That's all gonna go into the meat mixture once we've cooked the meat. But onto the cucumba. Cucumba. Vitamins, minerals, very high number. Cucumba. Cucumba water instead of soda. It's a great video. Look up Kukumba, YouTube, not sponsored. All right. Well, this is some great plastic. Is this is this a cucumber or is it something else? It might be something else. It basically tastes like a cucumber to me. It might have a different name. Might have a different name, but you know what? We're not pros here. And um, I said in the ingredients, veggies. Veggies will work. So any type of veggie will work. I'm just going, doing cucumber because I think it tastes um, really good and it's light. And what we're making again is the Thai beef salad um, before I forgot to put the rice on. This is what I was talking about. We're making the Thai beef salad and um, it's really just rice with a really good tasting meat. You dice that up and you kind of eat that. That's the salad portion and you don't have to eat it warm. You can eat it, you can eat it cold. You can eat it room temperature, it doesn't matter. It's kind of, um, fair game, whatever. Or at least that's what I've experienced. I had leftovers of it and I ate it cold and I had it like warm the first night and it was totally good. Um, and then just some fresh veggies on the side. So it's kind of a deconstructed salad in a way. Um, I think the technical name for it is Nam Tuk. I am butchering that probably, but Nam Tuk, Nam Tuk, something like that. Anyways, I'm doing cucumber as my side is just kind of a palate cleanser because it is a spicy dish. Um, so we're just gonna, Cut up this if you have other veggies that you want to cut up put them in carrots celery uh man some green peppers if you want to you know do whatever you want red peppers anything but maybe not something spicy because it's kind of a palate cleanser in a way so it kind of helps uh, de-spice what you've eaten and i'm gonna do like half of this i think and i've got cucumbers I've got cucumbers flying all over the place, people. Let's check this out. I'm gonna figure out the direction of this uh, this camera here in a bit, but uh, cucumbers all over the place. Tons of cucumbers, cucumbers all over. What are we doing here in quarantine? We're cooking with cucumbers, cooking with Cody. Let's go, one more. One more slice and one more for the cook. One more. Oh, man, I always forget. Anyway, all right. We're done with the cucumber. Um, and now. All 
All right, so I thought for a really long time about what we're supposed to do next, and I just realized we're done with all the prep work. It's time to cook the steak, and I'm going to begin that process now. But I do need to heat up the pan, so give me a sec to get this pan nice and hot, and we'll be back here in a tiny bit. All right, and we're gonna need some olive oil. Just gonna toss a little olive oil in the pan. Spin that around. Get her back. Any oil will work. I just use olive oil because it's all I have here, but uh, anything will work. Right? I might even just spread some of that around, you know. It, doesn't, it always is stringy for me, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't move all properly, but I'm gonna let that heat just a tiny bit and I'm going to grab a little swig of some bowl. All right, and just do one clack little mix, one clack, one quick, one quick, what am I doing? First video guys, first video. Please give me some grace. Um, anyway, okay. Steak in the pan. I'm just doing a little quick little mixy. And we're gonna lay it in. Oh yeah, that's the sound. That's the sound you wanna hear. That's the sound you wanna hear. All right, let's do one more. Uh oh. Got one more little piece. Do it there. And basically, we're just gonna wait a bit because we wanna get a nice sear on there. We're just gonna cook the steaks to be medium, um, depending on how you like it. I know my mom, she personally would not eat the steak if it had any redness in it, but I'll I'll totally eat the steak with some with some red in it. Hopefully, some pink. Um, but we will just cook this maybe like three minutes, three, four minutes aside, see where we're at, and then, then we're gonna cut it up. But um, yeah, let's just, let's wait for the steaks to be done and maybe fast forward here a little bit while we're, while we're cooking. starting to get some color. I think ideally we would grill these, but with the coronavirus and um, quarantine happening, our the apartment that I live in, the entire complex is basically shut down. So any amenities are off limits and I don't have a grill. So we're just doing a pan fry, but I think ideally we would do this over the grill and get, get a, I mean, it's just gonna taste better. Steak on the grill is, is awesome. So um, yeah, we'll keep waiting until this is done. Dougie, does that smell good? Does that smell good, Dougie? He thinks it smells good. All right, bud. Gotta wash the hands again. Be right back. All right, so we're pretty much there. Just gonna let the other side sear up just a tiny bit. Again, we're not gonna get like the best color. We're not gonna get any grill marks. We don't have a grill. So if you only have a pan, you know, it's fine. It's all going into the tummy. It might not look the best, but it's going into the tummy. It's gonna taste really good regardless. So um, yeah, I'll see you over there when we're cutting the steak. All right. Let's throw that, those bad boys, right on there. All right, let's see what we've, let's see what we've come up with here. Ooh, look at that steam. Thumbnail? No. Oh gosh, I'll figure that out sometime. All right, I'm just gonna throw my, uh, my mint off to the side for now. But, uh, got the steak. It's looking, it's looking juicy. It's looking delicious. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. 
Uh, uh. All right, so we've cut up the meat. Now the next thing in the Thai beef salad is gonna be putting all of the ingredients in there. So we had, um, we had shallots, we had green onions, we have um, crushed red pepper, um, we have sugar, we have limes, we have fish sauce. Um, and that's, that's pretty much the, what we're gonna mix together in there. Oh yeah, we have fresh mint as well. Um, and we have a lot of that already here, right? So this is all the shallots, the green onion, and the mint mixed. I'm just gonna toss that all into the bowl. Um, should be set there. We also are gonna need crushed red pepper. And you know, this is kind of to eye, however much you really want it to be spicy. Um, I'm just gonna undo the cap and, but I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna shake a little bit on there. And you can eyeball it. If you don't like spice, you, you can kind of pull back on this. I like a little bit of spice, especially in this dish. Um, there's a lot of citrus in there too. So that, that acid from the, from the lime and the sweetness from the sugar really um, brings out this really interesting dilemma between the spice and the sweet and the sour. It's super, super interesting. Um, so I'm gonna like it spicy and I'm gonna like it sweet and I'm gonna like it sour as well. Um, I need some sugar and, uh, <clears throat> and I'm just realizing I don't have any sugar. Sick. So do I have brown sugar? I have brown sugar. Let's go brown sugar. All right, we're making stuff up as we go here. We're gonna make stuff up as we go. I'm just gonna do a uh, little sprinkle of it here. Let's, let's show how I'm doing this here. Let's do a tiny little sprinkle right into the, maybe like a, a tablespoon or something like that. Something like a tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna try it. I don't know. I've never, I've never used brown sugar with this. So, um, but you know, quarantine can't leave the house. We got to use what we have. So let's do it. All right. Next up, we have some limes. Let's cut up some limes. As you can see, I did two limes, two full limes. I like it. I like it nice and limey and acidity from the limes. So I like that. And one other thing I said in the beginning, fish sauce is in this. I don't personally like fish sauce. And I'm just thinking about this. You know what? Instead of using fish sauce, I might just throw a little bit more soy in there. Fish sauce is a little bit more of like a salty flavor, but I just really don't, I don't like how it tastes. Um, my wife really likes it. So, you know, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of soy sauce in there just to make do. And if you were to add fish sauce, you'd probably add like maybe three tablespoons of fish sauce and taste from there if you want any more. But let's throw a little bit of soy in there. Just a bit, because we already use soy sauce in the steak as well, but just enough to kind of lift that, uh, that extra saltiness that we're gonna want. And let's give it a little mix. And you know what? Let's throw a little bit of mint on top, just French mint, please. You know what, we have it, let's just do it. Throw a little bit more in there. And we are about ready. So let me come back to you with a, uh, with a little plate. We'll get everything set up and I'll show you how to serve this dish. All right, so I've plated this a bit. We had some white rice cooking in the back there. You know what? Ah, oh, I gotta shut the cupboards. That's why I gotta shut the cupboards. Cause I run into them. Um, but yeah, so we got some white rice plated and then I just threw the veggie that I had on. Um, I, the veggie I had in this case was just cucumber. I just wanted some fresh cucumber. But as you can see here, um, oh, got steak flying everywhere, but we just got the rice on the plate. Got some um, of the Thai beef salad there as well. And then the deconstructed version of the salad. You could, you could put some cabbage on here, maybe even some lettuce if you wanted to on the side and maybe even do it like a lettuce wrap, you could. 
Um, it, you could really eat this however you want. It's really, really tasty, but I like to do a little sprinkle of salt right on top of the, uh, the cucumbers just to give a little more saltiness there. And here's that little piece of steak, let me, let's see what we did. Mm. And since I'm right here, I'm gonna grab a fork. Or I can use chopsticks too, but I don't know where my chopsticks are. So, a um, little bit of rice. Uh, some bites of steak there. Mm. Mm. Woo! Got a little bit of kick. Mm. Need to wash that down with some Red Bull. Ah. Perfect amount of kick for what I'm liking. And then, you know, a couple cucumbers on the side to balance what we're doing here. But yeah, the mint, the mint is just phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal in it. Um, if you have extra mint, throw a bunch in there. It's just so good. And maybe even spruce up a little mojito or a little drink for you yourself on the side. But wow, that's amazing. I'm going to keep eating it. And hopefully I have some leftover for when my wife comes home. But anyways, that was episode one, I guess. This was episode one of Cooking with Cody. Hopefully you learned a little bit. Um, maybe not necessarily the best technique, but you know what? Um, I'm a classic example of somebody who just loves to cook at home. You don't have to be a chef. You don't have to be a professional, but you can make really great food. So if you followed along, you know, don't worry about measurements and stuff. Just kind of eyeball it and it'll taste good. I promise you that. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, I totally forgot to mention this, but like, subscribe, and comment. I would love to hear what you guys think about this meal. If you really loved it, definitely give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more amazing uh, meals. At least I think they're amazing. They really taste good to me. But also, if you make this for your friends or family, DM me, tag me in your posts on Instagram because I'd love to see it. And you can find that handle right here or also below in the comments. But for now, peace out from this first episode first inaugural episode. Let's go. Cooking with Cody. All right. Peace, guys.